Hi, my name is Matt from Life Fact Europe Limited. Hi, I'm Keith from KBM Training First Aid Services Limited. Hi, I'm Rona from Help Save Lives, one of the main distributors of LifeVac. In this video today, we're going to explain how to use LifeVac in a choking emergency situation when BLS choking protocol is failed. We'll also be explaining a little bit about LifeVac. LifeVac is a non-invasive, single suction, anti-choking device. It has a passive one-way valve and two sonic welded discs for different size masks. Because LifeVac has this passive one-way valve and it's non-invasive, when applied, there's no risk of lodging the obstruction further down. LifeVac has currently saved 10 lives from choking to death across the world and in the UK when choking BLS protocol has failed. This has been by the layperson and healthcare professionals. LifeVac assembly. It's very easy to put the mask in and out of LifeVac. To put the mask in LifeVac, simply push and twist. It doesn't come out. To take it out, twist and pull. It's that simple. We're now going through the choking BLS protocol with Keith. Then now I should step in to show you how and when to use LifeVac. Recognising somebody's choking, ask the person to cough for you. Matt, cough. Cough, Matt. I will then turn around, Matt, make sure he's nice and safe, supporting his chest, and with the other hand, delivering firm back blows between the shoulder blades. Up to five times. After each one, checking to see if the obstruction has been cleared. Again, checking the obstruction is clear. After five times, if this hasn't worked, I'm going to put my hands around his stomach, making a fist just above the belly button, other hand to it, and this is going to be a sharp pull in and upwards to hopefully dislodge the blockage. And again, I will do this, if necessary, up to five times. If this fails, and the protocol so far has failed, I will now go and get the assistance of the emergency services by calling 999. This is where LifeVac comes into action. We use a process called place, push, pull. I should break this down for you really simply and really slowly so you can see. Bottom of the mask, place the bridge of the nose. Bring it down past the apex. Now the tip of the mask should be the bridge of the nose. Bottom of the mask between the bottom lip and the chin. Hold the mask firmly in place, tilting the patient's head back, opening up the airway. Hold the mask firmly in place creating the seal. Without the seal, there will be no suction. With your other hand, on top of the life pack, with a quick motion, push and pull. You just save that resident's life. We should now demonstrate BLS choking protocol and how and when to use life pack on somebody with a disability or a wheelchair user or in a sitting position. Again, it is important to establish if the person is choking. So again, ask the person to cough. Matt, cough for me. Cough, Matt. Uh, support them by leaning forward and deliver again up to five back blows. Hard, sharp, fast blow between the shoulder blades. Encourage them to cough. Check to see if the blockage has been removed. I can do this up to five times. The problem now, if this is a wheelchair user, somebody in one of the high-backed nursing home chairs, or indeed somebody unable to support their own weight, this would make doing the abdo thrust extremely difficult. So at this point, if the person has unfortunately become unconscious, I will need the assistance of the emergency services by calling 999. I shall now demonstrate how to save someone's life who has a disability or a wheelchair user who is choking BLS protocol has failed. Support the head, tilt it back, pull it into your chest. Bring the life back round, bottom of the life back, the bridge of the nose, bring it down past the apex. Now the top of the mask should be at the bridge of the nose, the bottom of the mask between the bottom lip and the chin. Supporting the head, tilting it back, hold the mask firmly in place. Without holding it firmly in place, there'll be no seal, it means no suction. Other hand, Put on the handle of LifeVac, in a quick motion, push and pull. You just save that resident's life.
During the presentation we saw some key points being made. A slight head tilt chin lift to make sure we've got a good painting airway. When we pulled the life back in, we came across to down to the bridge of the nose and we made sure we had a good seal. So when we push down and we pull up making that vacuum, it will help to release the blockage. If you know the blockage has been released, but it's not come completely out, by literally turning them over to make sure the oral cavity is clear and releasing the blockage. Let's talk about some statistics now. Choking is one of the leading causes of accidental death in adults over the age of 65. This is due to many reasons such as neurological conditions, such as Huntington's disease, multiple sclerosis or Parkinson's disease, where the person can develop dysphagia. This is why LifeBack is in hundreds of care homes across the UK and across the world. We hope you enjoyed this video and the information you received today.